Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today's sketchbook doodles video, I'm actually going to be introducing kind of a new OC. And the reason I'm saying kind of is because I'm not 100% sold on how I'm going to depict them today. As you can see that I'm trying to shuffle through my sketchbook at the moment to show you guys some kind of like um, concept or like little sketches where I try to plan out a little bit more. And he appeared a little bit in my... I'll, like my old sketchbook as well, but he had a different color combination But I knew that I wanted him to have a color combination of navy Kind of more of like an orangey red or an orange And either kind of like light colored eyes and possibly like a turquoisey gray color For the most part and I was talking to a friend where I said that I liked the idea of either having kind of like this bluish grayish hair and then this navy colored hair now i wasn't sure which one i was gonna go with but this time i think i'm for sure that i want to go with kind of a grayish blue hair kind of like turquoise gray color now i don't think the hair color that i end up painting today is 100 percent accurate i do want his hair to be a little bit more lighter and a little bit more gray compared to how i have painted it here um, we'll get into that a little bit later. I have some sketches on the side and I actually had a really cute little thumbnail in the bottom left hand corner but I drew him a little bit too big so I didn't include the bouquet of flowers I had in his arms and kind of, I don't know, I thought the thumbnail was very cute because you will see more of his outfit because I think the, how I drew it here doesn't, like his outfit makes a little less sense. So I decided to go with a turtleneck again, um, but I want it to be more of like a thinner material, more like skin tight. And then he has more of a looser kind of like button up shirt, kind of like a dress shirt kind of thing. And kind of with a stripey pattern, just to kind of break it up a little bit. Cause I tend to keep my OCs in more blockier colors, except for I think Sato's, um, her dress, her skirt, her long skirt. Um, I believe she has like two pinstripes or something going to like going down her skirt. But um, the whole purpose for this OC, um, actually there's several. So like part of it's kind of selfish. I wanted to have an OC that had more of a unique hair color that wasn't like a natural hair color, I guess. Like my current OC set that I have, like Masaki, Koji, and Sato, have more of like natural hair color, a little bit more natural hair colors. I mean, Masaki's for surely is, and Koji's basically blonde. And then Sato has more of a peachy, light brown kind of hair color, which like technically she could pass as light brown hair. So I don't, I don't know where she falls under that category, but um, let's talk about process first before I jump into my whole spiel and ramble about this purpose of this OC and where I'm gonna take him basically. So as usual, I am using the Pilot Color Eno for the rough sketch, which is kind of like the pink lines you saw earlier. And then after that, I use a graphite pencil, like a mechanical pencil, HB um, 0.5, just a normal mechanical pencil and kind of do the cleaner lines or like tighter lines so that we have kind of like a base of lines for me to follow so that I can do kind of like the washes and the painting easier um, because the palette color you know can dissolve with water so I don't want that to happen when I'm trying to plan out colors a little bit. Um, I'm gonna struggle with his nose a little bit here so yeah we'll get to that when I start doing the gouache but you can see I kind of had his hair already placed to be a little bit closer to the hair color that I wanted which is basically the color that's closest to um, his bangs or like closest to his face, which is kind of like that grayish color, um, but has like a little bit like tinge of kind of like a greenish blue, if that makes sense. I think my brain is so, not my brain, I feel like my speaking is just very off today. I'm doing several voiceovers today, but I don't feel like I'm getting any more comfortable. If anything, I feel more awkward. Um, Okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna do my best to use watercolor to plan out values, colors, shadows, um, just 
making things a bit easier for myself when I finally move on to gouache, which is right now. Um, I apologize that every time I reach over to my palette, it kind of creates a shadow. So hopefully the blinking of the light isn't too um, dramatic or too distracting for you guys. Um, I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. If it does bother you, then feel free to click out of the video. Um, yeah, I don't want it to make you guys too uncomfortable. Um, but let's talk about purpose of this OC. So I know a lot of people ask, um, how, like, how do you come up with the concept of your OCs or how do you make an OC? By the way, OC means original character. So Masaki, Sato, and Koji all had different purposes for myself. I used to have like, I think 13 different OCs at one time. And for me, I would always abandon like half of them and only draw like a select few. And any character that I, I designed, I kept as an OC when I was younger, but now that I'm more focused on, I draw a lot more fan art recently or things that have pre-existing characters, right? And I know what my interests and things that I lack in. So I try to make OCs that would force me basically to draw certain things. So. I wanted to get more used to drawing flowers or like painting foliage and stuff so I created Masaki who is a florist so it kind of feels like it's unavoidable. I made Koji because I really don't draw very active characters or um, more spunky kind of like kid-like characters so I have Koji for that. Um, he's like a kid who likes playing baseball and does judo and he's just, I don't know, he's just a small short dude so yeah he's also a kid so there's that. Um, and then Sato is because I don't draw females often anymore. <laughs> I used to draw them so often, but after I started drawing more K-pop fan art, I gravitated towards drawing dudes. Um, hence why I favor Masaki, I think, the most and kind of like basically baby him. Um, but Sato is kind of the character I would draw if I would like to have a default female character to draw, if that makes sense. It's just nice to have like a character already designed and ready for you to just jump in because I feel like for me I'm not the type that wants to create characters a lot that's not my passion I know there's a lot of people who like want to create characters and really enjoys the process but for me I I feel like I don't really have like a knack for it I have to use like a lot of references to collect so like, I have to collect references for outfits I have to think of color combinations I think about hairstyle I think about personality I, like I'm trying to think about too many things and I feel like people who worked in either character design or just like character design have a better understanding of it and even if you don't and you enjoy character like making characters that's fine too like perfectly fine I think as long as you have a passion for it do whatever you want as long as it doesn't obviously hurt others or you know you know the spiel. Um, but for these characters, I'm saying these because my plan with this guy um, is to have like a, set, a sibling set of three is what I want. So I want this guy to be like the middle child. I think I want him to be Sato's age and potentially love interest for her. And then I want him to have an older brother and a younger sister. So I would like to make a sibling set so I can play around with the color combinations of them. So I do have names picked out and I do think I'm going to put them in the same universe as my current OCs. Um, but I might rethink that. I might make them their separate um, little universe, I guess. I don't really like writing stories or anything. So I don't feel the need to actually like flesh out too much of their world. But I like to flesh out at least a little bit of their, at least like context, I guess. So... Yeah, I kind of, the reason why I picked three colors, so the three colors I wanted to choose, if you can't tell I'm scattered brain right now. Um, uh, where was I? So, okay, basically. So his, I wanted to be more focused on the kind of grayish blue color and then having the secondary color be more like the navy or dark blue you'll see me paint a little bit later but i accidentally painted a little bit too dark um and have the accent colors kind of be a little bit more of that pop-up orange from his um his shirt basically and i believe have some accessories hanging near his waist that will also have more of the gold and kind of orangey color that you can see reflected in his eye color um 
for the older male character, which will be his older brother, I was thinking of having his be more primarily this navy color with pops of probably the bluish gray color and also accented with the orange and then I wanted the girl to be like the younger sister to have mostly the orangey yellow probably with the navy color and then pops of the bluish gray is I think is my plan I kind of I like like I said I do have names picked out and I try to find names that are fitting and because of Masaki's kind of story and setting they are set in Japan I try to pick more Japanese names but I want to do research on meaning behind the names first to see if I can fit them together and I thought it'd be cute to have them kind of like I don't know I don't know if this is no it's common it's definitely common when you kind of name your kids or your parents name kids like the same starting letter if that makes sense Hopefully that makes sense. I always remember that um, we always had people who had like, I think their father's name started with a J, but then every daughter and son that they had was also a J name. Um, but yeah, so I wanted their names to start with the letter A. I'm not gonna reveal their names just because I might change them. If I do decide not to put them in the same universe as Maseki, then I will not stick with Japanese names. I will stick with whatever name that I can figure out. Um, Cause like even before, I think for Sairi, who is my old OC, who has like the vibrant green hair, I just made her name up, but I think it is um, derived from like a specific country. I don't know if it is Japanese, but yeah, that I need to figure something out. Cause I don't want to accidentally pick something that accidentally might be like offensive or if it sh shouldn't have that kind of meaning or anything so I'm gonna do a little bit of research before I jump into those um I also could pick just western names as well so I'll definitely think about it a little bit um but yeah that's the purpose I wanted to have a siblings that's not the purpose that is my goal my purpose for the OCs is one, I wanted to pick colors that I wasn't super used to. Um, like I said, I wanted to pick hair colors and potentially eye color because I think I want them to have more of a amber or gold eye color compared to my OCs who all, I believe, have natural eye colors. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have a bit of a different color range as well as contrast, but also character type. I want the eldest son, brother, eldest brother, <laughs> to be, I don't know, a little bit of a wider build um, because I believe this guy's a little bit on the thinner side. Like I think he's thinner than Maseki. Maseki has a very average build for the most part, a little bit wider shoulders, but I think this guy's gonna be a little bit thinner. And then I want the, I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know. I haven't planned out the little sister quite yet. I don't know if I'm gonna make her Koji's age. I don't know if I'm gonna make her younger or I'm gonna make her older. We'll see where the age range. But the whole purpose of this as well is to kind of have a sibling set to make them kind of like interact a little bit more in like these cute scenarios and stuff. I just think it would be cute to do. I don't do a lot of characters interacting with each other and for some reason I stopped drawing Koji and Maseki as much together. Same with just Sato and Maseki or Sato and Koji. So yeah, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna try to focus on that. But before I officially introduce all of them, I kind of want to explore their designs a little bit to flesh them out because for the most part, I think I'm comfortable with his design visually, just colors that I'm not entirely sold on and his earring situation. I wanted them to have like little X earrings on his ears, but they turned out more like plus signs. So I need to figure that out. I think I want them to be smaller as well, a little bit daintier and less seen. Um, I don't know what I'm going on, on like going on about at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to record any sessions where I'm brainstorming because I don't know, for me, I like keeping OCs personal until I feel comfortable with them and then I will doodle them whenever. Because I think that was another problem I had with Koji and Sato is that I was struggling to get used to their design because I kind of made them like hard set to be like, oh, this is your outfit. This is what you're gonna look like forever, basically. Now you can see that even when I'm drawing Maseki, I've kind of branched them out into different outfits instead of just the standard uh, turquoise 
teal turtleneck and the brown apron thing. But yeah. Um, last but not least, I am adding a little bit of kind of like a peachy yellowy color to the background. Not super sold on the color or the application, but I just decided to use washi tape to block off the borders so I can paint it in. I didn't paint it in super clean or super opaque. I just really wanted to throw in a color so that the page looks a little bit more complete. And you can see the gouache on this paper kind of buckles quite a bit. So yeah, it's not the most ideal paper, but you can see I can still paint in it. So like I said, I think in the last sketchbook doodles video, this paper can handle the mediums I like, um, whether or not it's like it's just small little washes or if it's um, like actually painting with gouache or if it's pen or pencil, pencil crayons, markers, the whole shebang. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. So yeah, I'm just kind of adding little details here and there, cleaning up a few things. And I think that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and not too bother about my rambling as usual. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!